Dan Jekyll back to the channel. Today's video, well, guess who's back? It's not, I'm not. I'm not surprised. I guess that it's, you know, as soon as um, Ian Banker, chairman, announced he was going to go, um, it, was it? I, I don't know when he was announced. It was it earlier this year, right? He's going to go in January, right? I, I just knew right away that Peter Lowe had to be something in there because, you know, he, he left Celtic. That was a good change, right? His son's still at the club. I know his dad's going back. Peter Law will, will be coming back. He will be replacing the outgoing chairman, Keane Bank in January. I, I, I actually can't believe this. Um, although, yes, he did win 29 trophies during his last spell as chief executive. We don't we don't deserve this guy at our club. Um, when we moved on, we had... Um, oh, what's his name? Didn't last long. Peter Law was still kind of at the club. Kinda. Uh, a couple of people didn't like what he was doing to the club. Oh, he was brought in to change the idea of the club, bring a new fresh, you know, brand into the twenty first century. And then we had Michael Nicholson, who's doing a very good job with the transfers. I got a game out, fair plays, batting and very, very good. Um, he was obviously the chief executive, and I just thought, I just feel that. With Peter Law coming back, I don't know why we're why are we going back to the old ways. I don't. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Um, he's had his time. Peter Law's had his time at the club, right? As many Celtic players and managers had when we've get, been linked with and all that stuff. Do you know what I mean? Players and that. They've had their time at Celtic. He should be nowhere near Celtic Park. He should be not near Celtic Park. He's had his time. That's it. Done and dusted. Not. He shouldn't be near the highest part of Celtic Football Club. He shouldn't be near it. Absolutely shouldn't be near it. Although, uh, Ange on his return, uh, of course, we're Celtic are uh, heading to Portugal. Is it next week? Is, is next week? It's crazy, isn't it? 10th of December, next week. Here, yeah, as he had to say on Peter Law return to Celtic as chairman, he was interested in bringing me to Celtic. I know the love for he has for the club, and I know that his wealth of experience will, and knowledge will be invaluable to us all as we move forward together. I mean, Ange can't say anything, Wage can't, you know what I mean? He can't say. But he will return as Celtic. Um, I will play Ian Banker as uh, the chairman. Um, so let's speak about that. So you've placed Ian Banker in the job of the current chairman now since he will tie earlier this year. Lolo has continued to represent Celtic while away from the club. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, and a representative on the European Club Association board. He was in charge of Celtic for 18 years previously, but left at the end of the failed 10 row bid to see a charge, uh, a change at the club and frustration among supporters. Uh, but he's back at Celtic Park, who could have guessed that for a long term, and he said, as a lifelong Celtic supporter, it's a great privilege to be asked to take a position of chairman, having already been part of our club for 18 years. They're exciting times for the club, and I look forward to contributing to well-being and success of the club. Our um, objective, uh, as ever, will grow and further develop the, the club across all areas, led by an excellent chief executive, Michael Nicholson, of course, very brilliant guy, the, the L Spicky one, very good, <laughs> um, and the chief financial officer, Chris Mackay. Um, the club has high quality management team place well. I'll be offering my support and guidance to the board and executive management team to ensure we continue to drive the club forward and protect and promote the interests of our supporters. Um, he was replaced, of course, by Milkson, Nick Michael Nixon in the role uh, of uh, Chief Executive. And this week, I say I'll always return. We're delighted to have welcome Peter back as chairman and we're looking forward to working with him as we continue to progress and develop our club. Peter has a wealth of experience in the football industry at domestic European global level, which is invaluable to the club going forward. Our collective um, objective is to create a world class football club that our supporters can be proud of competing at the highest level strategy based on growth and continuous improvement on behalf of our board and our colleagues at the club. I thank Ian Bank for his service and the club and wishing the family the best for the future. Um, very disappointing. You know, it's basically like, you know, WW, you know what I mean? The, the w, it's in the thumbnail anyway. Do you know what I mean? He's just back from the dead. Um, I actually forgot he was kind of working with Celtic, but it was all over level, of course. Um, I'm kind of, I'm not happy. I'm, re I'm really not happy. Um, I, I said, I said this. Ben actually said, I, I, you, you could have guessed it the guard. Do you know what I mean you could have put money on it? Um, but yeah. So I right, let's let's move on from that now. Let's get into a more positive. Do you know what I mean? Um, so uh, the more positive we've got, uh, we've got we 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 you know we. We sneak, you know, back to the other side of Glasgow, the other side of the city, Ange Bosco, when asked about the manager change at Ibrox, 
Um, he said on the scale of things that have been on my mind for the last over the last two weeks, I reckon that registering um, below it's registering below what I'm having for my dinner tonight. That is that is, that is class. That is absolute class. That is a that, God bless him, man. That is a oh yes, what a guy, man. What a guy. Um, so let's get into, of course, Yuki Kobayashi. He um, like well, my brain is that way, but um, you've seen him in the thumbnail. He took over. Tom Rogic's number, number 18. It's interesting. He is um, a centre-half, but he can also play left-sided. He's a left-sided centre-half. He can also play left-back as well. Um, if I, can, I don't know how to spell his name. There's a lot of uh, people got um, actually um, mixed up with him. If Yuki Kobayashi, um, who put it on Twitter saying, it's not me. Um... Um, so it is not me. So yeah, it is. He is. Um, yeah. So that that that's the guy that got mixed up with him. He's Vishal Kobe as well. Um, but um, it's this guy here we have UK Kobe Yashi. Um, he is. What age is he? I can't remember. He's um twenty two. He's one hundred and eighty three centimeters height. So that's but was I say six foot really? Uh, he can play left back. He can play left back and obviously centre back is his main position. Um, he hasn't said he's moved to Celtic yet, but I do believe this is the man. Yeah, it's man. Yeah, it's this. Um, I've got the right guy. Because uh, there's two Kobe, U uh, Kobe U um, UK Kobe Ashes. Um, but let's be Ange said on. He said, good to get UK in. I know it's one we've worked on for a while. He's a fair bit of experience at the age of 22. And we feel it's a great, it was a great opportunity as, um, as Celtic prepare to go to... Um, Portugal to face Ren, um, and a friendly before Celtic play Aberdeen the week after. Um, let's wrap up some great um, some news quickly. Uh, Cal McGregor's tipped to return to the, the match day squad against Ren. Portugal later this month or week. Tomorrow, yeah. Um, the game takes place a week before the Aberdeen game. Yes, it's, it's a long shot for Cal to make that, but I'd more. Concerned getting up to speed with Easter Road and of course the Ibrox the big one. I'm more concerned about that. Yes, getting them more game down. Yes, yes, but I wouldn't risk it enough, especially a friendly. Do you know what I mean? Um, so are we going to transfer to Joseph and Alex West Ham? Are considering um, a deal, uh, a move. Sorry for Celtic right back Joseph Grant. Looks set to leave the club. Apparently, said I'm impressed by Grant. However, um, any move hinges on the sale of Vladimir Kufal. Um, just a bit on transfers and. You spell it in a yard and obviously uh, Yakimaki is a, pra is a big one out. Um, that's what I'm saying this year's AGM by the way, just to update you, right? He said, we'll need to move players around to make games. We'll have to maximise our squad to get the greatest revenue from the club. I'm comfortable with that. It will be upsetting for you guys. You have favourite players, but we need to be wise. He doesn't have personal connections with any of these players for a reason. Do you know what I mean? I know what I mean. Um... Another bit of news, um, obviously in action, Max Hunt, the players you expect the papers would be, you know what I mean? Uh, I wouldn't expect his contracts because they've still got con decent four years, I have six, they've six years got, is it four year contract? I don't know. Um, they're, not, they're certainly not going to be sent a pre contract anyway. I don't think that's going to happen, right? Um, however, Celtic are partly interested in bringing Korean striker to Ki Sung for the club, he's 24 and he's made a double against Ghana. Uh, and he's helped his side qualify for the round of 16 against Portugal, to beat Portugal there. Uh, so Yak Marcus, yes, he's still to a failed to reach agreement over improved contract with Yak Marcus, with the player understood to be unhappy after the offer. So he could have a surprise departure in January. There's already strong interest. That's, that's, that's disappointing, even though you've, I mean, you've you agreed to deal with the agent, it's the agent, it's, you know what I mean? It's um, doing that really, so I'd be interested to see how that goes. Uh, it's a lot of digest. Um, I'm just putting on a digestive biscuit here. It's, it's pretty much, you know, it's a lot to digest. So, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't think they'll move in January, but we'll see how it goes. Um, that is a wrap up for you. Put all returns. And Kobe, you can Kobe Ashley lands in Glasgow for his uh, press conference in Lance. Now he's in. But we'll still debate out more signs before Jan will find out. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys if anything else happens over the weekend. If not, uh, prelims are starting on Monday. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so videos will be like all over the place, but I'll try and get much as you can, you guys. But yeah, thanks for watching.